welcome to all in the next lecture so here today we start our the next unit that is on determinate and the matrices so now first we read about the determinant so what is the determinant so here first we talk about the matrices so a matrix is an array of numbers that are arranged in rows and columns so our matrix is like that that is in we have the elements in, in the square brackets and these are called are the rows and these are called the columns so what is the matrix matrix is an array that are arranged the numbers in rows and the columns so here we note that uh, if we use the matrix so that is the singular form of the matrices and matrices this is the plural form so now the matrix is square if it has the same number of rows and columns here we see that here two rows and two columns are there so this is called the square matrices matrices is also the rectangular is also rows different rows and different columns so if we have the number of rows and number of columns are same so this is called the square matrices so here we have the next matrix that is uh, this here we have the three rows and three columns so this is called the three by three and this is called the square matrix and this define the order order means two by two means two rows and two columns three by three means three rows and three columns so this defined all or the order means this is the three order matrix and this is the two order matrix so now come to the point determinant so what is the determinant uh, if we have the matrix so every square matrix has a determinant means if we have the rectangular matrix so that cannot form the determinant we need only the square matrix to find the determinant and determinate when we solve the determinate so of any matrix so that will be a number means a scalar quantity we get a scalar quantity of the determinant so here you see that this is the two by two matrix this was the two by two matrix so determinant is like that so when we solve this so and this is the three by three uh, determinant because these are the square matrices and now what is the difference between the matrices and determinants we, of the matrices we define it by the square braces and the determinant we denote it by the straight line so this is the determinant of two by two matrices and this is the determinant of three by three matrices now why do we need the determinant actually why we use the determinant actually determinant is used to calculate the inverse of a matrix if we have a matrix a and we need to find the inverse of that matrix so we use here the determinant second one is uh, we use the determinant to find the area of triangle or quadrilateral and we use this we can solve our uh, system of linear equations by the determinant and that rule is called are the kramer's rule further we study about this kramer's rule okay now if we have suppose two by two matrix and how can we find the determinant of two by two matrix here this is are the two by two matrices because here we have the two rows and two columns are there so this is the straight line so this is the determinant so now uh, we have this determinant we need to find this determinant so how can we find first we take these two elements we multiply these two elements these are called the diagonal elements right and these are called the known diagonal elements so first we multiply these known di uh, sorry diagonal elements 3 multiply 4 then minus now we multiply these known diagonal elements minus 5 multiply 2 so now when we solve this then we get are the value of the determinant so we can see here when we solve this determinant so we can get the numerical value so this is our called the uh, this is that when we solve our determinant always we find the scalar quantity clear now next one is the determinant uh, if we have the 3 by 3 matrix then how can we find the determinant so here we have the two ways to find the matrix 
determinate means uh, you can find in this way first way is here we have this matrix we need to find this matrix determinate so now we write again column one this is column one this is column two this is column three so again we write here column one and column two this is the way to find the determinate of the matrices now after that we multiply these elements these this this so when we multiply these elements and add these so this 2 multiply 2 minus 2 multiply 2 plus 0 multiply 5 multiply minus 1 plus 3 multiply 1 multiply 4 now minus multiply of these known diagonal elements these elements minus 1 minus 2 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 0, 1, 2. So now this minus this. Now when we solve this, then we get our the solution means the determinant of the matrices that will be minus 42. Clear how to find the 3 by 3 matrices determinant? Next, now uh, another way to find the determinant of matrices because in this second way we can find any determinant of any kind, any order of matrices means four by four, five by five, any order of matrices you can find the determinant of by this method. So here we denote the determinant by also D E T. So this is called the determinant of A. So now to find the determinant of larger matrices. So we need here to find the minors. So what is the minors? We can denote the minors by capital M i j so what is the i j here actually i j in the matrices i represents the rows and j represents the column so now we need to find first the minors so now let's see here how to find the minors the minus m i j of a matrix a is the matrix formed by removing the i th row and j th column so how do we find the minors for find the minors of mij we need to remove ith row and jth column of the given matrix suppose we have this matrix a so here this is our the three by three matrices because here we have the three rows and three columns are there so this is the three by three matrix so now mij means i i three rows and j is also three because three columns are there so we have how many minors we have we uh, how many elements you have that are the so like that you have the minus miss m11 m12 this is the element a11 a12 generally a13 like that so our minus are with m11 m12 m13 m21 m22 so like that we have the total 333 nine elements are there so nine minors we have so first we need to calculate m11 so means m11 means first row first element and first column first element so m11 means we need to remove uh, to calculate the m11 we need to remove row one and this is our the column column one so remaining part this two by two matrix so this is our the minor m11 m11 means we have the two by two matrix clear now next you need to calculate m12 so m12 means you have you want to remove row one and column two so now remaining elements this is your m12 minor m12 next m13 so how to get the m13 here you want to remove first row and third column so now you have these this is your m13 right now next calculate m21 so m21 you need to remove row 2 and column 1 so now you have 1 minus 2 7 0 so this is your m21 elements now next m22 so for m22 you need to remove second row and second column so you like that you have the m22 matrix is this 2 by 2 matrix 1 minus 2 2 0 next 2 3 so for 2 3 we need to remove row 2 and column 3 so now the remaining elements 1 1 2 7 that form are the m23 next m31 so m31 we need to remove row 3 and 
column one. So this is our the M three one two by two matrix one minus two two three. Next M three two. So M three two we need to remove row three and column two. So this is the your M three two matrices. Remaining elements one minus two minus one and three. Next M three three. So for M three three, we need to remove third row and third column. So now remaining elements that is formed the M three three. So now students like that, we can find our M I J. So uh, with any elements which are in our uh, how many elements we have in the our matrices. So like that, we have the minors. So here we have total nine elements. So we have the nine minors. So these are our minors. Now, how to find the determinant? So our matrices is like that. Here, this element is a one one, a one two, a one three. Why we name of these? Because one one means first row, first column element. One two means first row, second column element. One three means first row and third column element. Like. So like that, we have the minus m11, m12, m13, m21, m22, m23, m31, m32, m33. So now, in the last uh, previous, we calculate the minors. Now, what is the determinant? How can we find the determinants by the minors? So we have this formula: determinant of a is equal to a11. M one one minus A one two M one two plus A one three M one three. So here we expand this only the first row. If we calculate this is only the first row, so we need to use the elements first row elements A one one, A one two, A one three with the sign. So now and here we can easily calculate our M one one, M one two, M one three like earlier. So when we calculate the M one one, so what we need means we have to hide first row and first column. So this is our M one one, A two two, A two three, A three two, A three three. And how can we calculate this two by two determinant? We know that we have to multiply these minus multiply of these A two two, A three three minus A two three and A three two. So similarly we can. And find our M12 means here we need to remove first row and second column. So now our determinant is this M12, and we need to calculate this. Now M4 calculate the M13. We need to remove first row and third column. So now we have this M13 minor. Now we can put our these values here, and uh, we can find out the determinant. Clear. So now let's take an example for this. So here we have this matrix A, and we need to find the determinant of this matrix. So we here we find the determinant of this matrix by the formula R. So what will be our the formula? Determinant of A is here. We expand this matrices only about the first row, right? So first row one multiply m one one minus. So why we use here minus? Because in our formula, we have this here the minus plus minus plus. So minus one multiply m one two plus. Because this is the minus two element, so this is the minus two multiply m one three. So now this is one. So m one one. By bit, what is our M11? We had want to hide first row and first column, so remaining is two, three, seven, zero. So this is our M11 like that. This is our M12. This is our M13. So now we um, know how to calculate these determinants. So two multiply zero, zero minus three multiply seven, twenty-one. So this become minus twenty-one. Minus one multiply, minus one multiply zero zero minus three to the six. So this is minus six, minus two minus one seven minus seven minus two four. So minus eleven. So now when we calculate this, we get seven. So the determinant of this matrix is seven. Clear? Now. If we want to the formula, means uh, here in the earlier slide we expand our uh, matrices to calculate the determinant only the first row. But it's not compulsory. It's not uh, compulsory that you always you find the to find the determinant. You consider only the first row. You can take any row. You can take any row. Uh, you can. Uh, 
to calculate the determinant of the matrices so now let's see here how is it possible so now this is the the matrices and suppose we use first row to calculate our determinant so our matrices formula is like that a11 m11 minus a12 a m12 plus a13 m13 now suppose we can use second row so uh, either we can use the second row when we consider the second row so here our um, signs will be changed means <coughs> to find the determinant <coughs> sorry we need to calculate this minus a21 m21 plus a22 m22 minus a23 m23 next suppose we need the the third row means we need to calculate the determinant about the third row so it become a31 m31 minus a32 m32 plus a33 m33 so you can see here the difference in this the sign difference so uh, this is our the determinant you can find this like this or this or this way right so now what is the difference difference is between the only the signs means sign is that you have to consider your sign if you have the three by three matrices so you have to consider the signs to find the determinant like plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus alternatively you have to use your sign so suppose you have like that four by four matrices so how to find the determinant so in this you can your formula will be same means only you have now the four elements uh, in rows and four elements in columns so you have to consider the sign is like that plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus so like that alternatively you have to use the plus minus so now how can we get these num these plus minus so you don't confuse about this means you can use this formula minus one to the power i plus j so according to this you can change your sign of the elements i j i is row and j is the column so for some suppose we need to the sign of the first element this is our the first element a11 a11 means our i is equal to 1 j equal to 1 so when we put here i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 so it become minus 1 to the power 2 and what is the minus 1 to the power 2 that become minus 1 square 1 so this is positive sign now for this element here this element represents the a12 means your i is 1 j is 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 so it become minus 1 to the power 3 what is minus so now your sign is minus like that you can find the signs of the elements and find your determinant clear now uh, if you have the means this is the you need to find the determinant and this is what will be the general formula so with the sign here we use the separate separate signs so with the signs what is the formula general formula to find the determinant of the matrices so that is our a matrix which is the elements are n by n matrices means n rows and n columns and the elements are a i j so our cofactor c i j this is called the cofactor means minus 1 to the power i plus j m i j right this represents our the sign and m i j you know how to calculate this so now what is the determinant of a so the determinant of a formula is summation i equal to 1 to n a i j c i j so what is this this is not any typical thing actually this is the your a11 c11 right plus a12 c12 if you take the about the rows uh, row expansion then to terminate you can use this formula and if you have you can ex also calculate your determinate by the to taking any column so you can take also summation j equal to 1 to an aij cij j represents the column so about the column also you can find your the determinant so this is the general formula actually so when you fit here you can calculate your determinant a like the earlier examples clear how to find the determinant i think all of you have to clear that how can we find the determinant of the matrices so now thank you today's lecture is completed now be happy and healthy and uh, do your studies well. Thank you.